Welcome to a day in my life. It is raining again here in New Jersey. It was raining yesterday when I did my, what I eat in a day. It's going to be raining even worse today. I don't mind it other than the dog it kind of is annoying though, but I'll show you some rain later. Christmas is some really bad deluge down. So ooh, fun, fun, fun. I did get him out this morning. It was only sp really spitting. But I have my cup of tea. I also have my cup of water ready to go. Honestly, I'm gonna try to just get one of these in a day, 30 to 35 maybe. Because honestly, when I put too much pressure on myself and I don't drink. But I've been doing well. We're getting ready for breakfast. Oh, I wanted to say, this is what I have in my tea this morning, true lemon. I get these right off of Amazon. I love this. If you don't have like fresh lemon, which sometimes I run out, but this is only um, lemon peel. There's no added sugar in there, but they they have like lemon, lime, grapefruit, they have all different kinds of things. Um, lemon is my favorite. I have had the lime, which is pretty good. Steve likes the lime, I like lemon. But it gives it a little bit of sweetness, even though there's no, no sweetness added, but lemon is naturally sweet, I guess. So the peel, when it's dehydrated or dried, gets sweet, so. So to make more tea, we have also, we're having asparagus and eggs this morning. So I'm going to get that cleaned up, trimmed and sauteed. I'm actually going to saute it and then put it on the side because I think Timmy's going to want breakfast. And I think we're going to do like a, maybe a scrabis, asparagus and egg bagel sandwich for him. He's at church right now um, for daily mass. Not, not mom, mom doesn't go to daily mass. That's with them now. That's a daily mess. Um, so we're going to get that trimmed up, sauteed, and then I do have an English muffin. I do have bread. I do have bagel. We'll see what I feel like having. You'll be surprised when you see what my breakfast is. So come along for a day in a life on a rainy day. I do have plans with you to make strawberry jam because um, our local produce outlet had strawberries for a dollar for the little clamshell because it's a quart. And I, we ate one and we're gonna make jam out of the other. I would, have, I would have loved to have gotten more, but yeah. I'm not gonna spend here all day cooking strawberries. I'm like, yeah, how much are you gonna use? Yeah, we'll, we'll do the one. I wish, I wish I felt like sitting there, you know. It's not something that you can or preserve. It's just making some jam, putting it in a nice little jar and keeping it in the fridge and you can, it'll last for so, but it never lasts that long here because we like it because it's fresh strawberries. So, all right, Denise, you've talked enough. Let's get this asparagus a cooking. Before we get started, I just want to do a little plug here for a company that reached out to me. And when I, to say I was thrilled was beyond measure because I've used this product in the past. I've, you've heard me talk about this product in the past. So I was like, okay, you know, like I did unsponsored videos for them because I like them so much. Why well, just stop using it? Because other products asked for my, you know, so I was using those. Not that I didn't like this, but I can't use both. <laughs> so, so, but um, Bellway. Bellway Beauty Fiber has always been one of my favorites. They don't have the matcha anymore. I'm a little bit sad about that. But this watermelon is really, really good. Now, what I love about it, it's super fiber and collagen. So you're getting both. When I tell you that this gets rid of my bloat, I'm not kidding. Um, that's why I used to take it in the past. Is it a little pricey? Honestly, it's not any price of anything else that you buy. I mean, look at the price of Metamucil. And, oh, that's ridiculous. But what they also came out with, super new, which I've never even had, is the Super Fiber Gummies. I think they're in Raspberry Lemon. I've never had their gummies. So the last couple of days I've been taking them and they're in the shape of little raspberries. I will show you. That. I love anything that comes in a gummy. You know me. Comes in a gummy. I'll try it. So between the gummies and the collagen, let's just say things are moving, which I think is interesting, which I wanted to share my little TMI. But since I started counting calories and macros the last three weeks, I've noticed a significant drop in me using the bathroom. How else can I say it? Which is funny because back when I started Weight Watchers, same thing happened. I got constipated. You'd think 
eating less and eating fiber and vegetables, you'd go more. I go less. <laughs> so I knew I was on the right track when I stopped going because that's how it happened last time. I'm like, oh my gosh, when I did Weight Watchers, there'd be days, days. So when I got this, I'm like, oh my, because that's what I took back in the day. So I was like super excited to do it again. And lo and behold, I'm not gonna lie, things were moving every day. So I usually take my supplement drink in here, but I wanted to show you the pretty color and how quickly it comes together. And I just chug my beauty collagen. And collagen is really good for hair, skin, and nails. I mean, look at my hair. You've seen the growth in my hair. My nails are like, I, I can't. <laughs> so, now it's not a complete protein that's in these collagens. If you see collagen and protein, it's not a complete protein. So it's not the protein that if you're looking to build muscle, that's not that type of protein. But it's not a bad protein either. So I'm going to drink this and get my asparagus prepped. If you're prepped, if you're interested in trying Bell White, I'll have a discount and a link in my down below. You can try it out. It is one of my favorites. Bell White, thank you for reaching out. Asparagus is washed. This is how I prep it. Now you all can do it differently. You can leave them whole. You could roast them in the oven and just chop them. Or leave them whole in, in your scramble or your egg and or just lay them on top of your egg. It all works for everybody. But this is just what I do. But my mom, well, let's just say my mom never made this. I can't say she did this. So I have it all washed, have the ends cut off. You have to get, it, you have to get off that woody stem at the end. If you have really fresh asparagus, you just have to snap it and it snaps where the woody part ends. But this one is from last week, so it's a little more, not as, shall we say not as fresh? And I just like to chop it in small little pieces like that. I'd leave the tops pretty much together because I think they're cute. So yeah, so I have my pan. I'm gonna put a little olive oil spray and just saute till it's the tenderness that you like. I like mine so a little bit crispy, but everybody's different. So we're gonna get that, a saute, maybe add some, I have a little mini bell pepper I'll put in for color, some red, just for aesthetics. So it's red and green. Of course, I'll put onion in mine. Timmy, he might have something to say about that. You know, boys, like, why is that? But I'm gonna get this saute and I will show you, well, we put my, I, well, I'll show you mine because I'm gonna put it in a separate little pan and then we'll seal my breakfast. While we make our breakfast, I'm going to prep our strawberries for our jam. This is like, I think this is a quart. Um, 16 ounces, one pound, a pound of strawberries. What's a dollar? So I'm making a nice little strawberry jam for a buck. Sugar-free, I should say not sugar-free because there's sugar in the strawberries, no sugar added. Then again, if I add monk fruit, is that considered adding sugar? I don't think so, but I do put a little bit of monk fruit. Sometimes I put chia seeds, sometimes I don't. I don't know, I feel like putting chia seeds in there today. So it becomes like a chia jam, which has a little bit extra fiber in there. Um, I don't know. It's always, I don't mind it, but I don't know. So I do the chia seeds. That's totally up to you. You could definitely add the chia seeds if you like. But yes, we're going to clean our strawberries, cut our tops off, and then I will just probably quarter them if there are any real big ones. I think there's any real, real big ones, but I'll just quarter them because they'll break down. No sense chopping to like, no need to. They're going to break down. They're going to get to like, you know, nice little gooeyness. Um, I do add a little bit of water. I do have a recipe on dishrd.com. It'll hook you up if you need to see it written down. It's already done. I should look it up, but uh, I wing it most times. So a little, a little bit of water, a little bit of sweetener. Sometimes in the end, I like to throw a little bit of lemon juice in there to give a little bit of, but it's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends if I have lemons. As we had this heard this morning, I don't. So we probably won't put the lemon juice in there. I could put that in there. But sometimes even the lemon juice gives it a nice shine as well. Sometimes it's just, it gives it a nice glossiness. I'm not sure why, but it does. But we're going to get our breakfast and then we will, I'm gonna rinse these and then have them ready. Then we'll clean them. So, making our bacon, making our bacon. Making our breakfast. All right, there is our delicious saute of vegetables. 
I'm going to put that aside and get my small little egg pan and two slices, well, a slice of a Canadian bacon we're going to chop up into the egg. And I'll add a little scoop full of that. And I'll make a little veggie a scramble. So oh, I'm so excited to eat. I have this uncured turkey Canadian bacon, which I've never seen before. It's a little bit higher in points than traditional Canadian bacon. Because I think this is made with, is it chicken? Hold on, I don't know if it's chicken or turkey. I keep calling it, I don't know if I have a wrapper. I don't even know what it is. I feel like it's chicken. Because I felt like it was made with um, thigh meat. Yeah, I think this is chicken. Uncured chicken. Uncured Canadian turkey. Oh, it's turkey. I think it's made with turkey thigh meat. Yeah, it's turkey thigh. See, I think my hand went thigh. I keep thinking chicken, but it's turkey thighs. So that's why it's a little bit fattier than traditional pork Canadian bacon. Um, I honestly like the other one better. I'm not gonna, I, I probably wouldn't buy this again. Um, it's okay. I don't hate it, but it's just, I don't know. I like this one better. So plus this one, you definitely have to make sure it's heated through. The other one, I actually eat it raw. You know. You know. Olive oil spray. I have this linked on my Amazon store. If you're ever wondering what products I use, let me know. If you don't see it in my Amazon store, I can always add it. And it helps out my channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra to shop there. Amazon throws back to people who share, like a, when I say microscopic, yeah, microscopic commission. But you know what? It all helps out my channel in the end. So grateful. So I'm just going to cook that. I'm going to add some of our mixture. And then I will put a couple eggs in there and we will be having breakfast. Our strawberries are draining. We'll get to that. I've decided to have a breakfast burrito. Because look what I bought at the store. I'm like going, I forgot I had them. Got them at BJ's or was it Sam's? Sam's. So you get a whole big pack of these Ole Wellness, 60 calories, 16 grams of carbs. I'm gonna make me a burrito. I love when I come up with ideas. Maybe I'll make one for Timmy. He might like a breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna grab my wrap. My filling is done. I'm just gonna chop a little tomato in there. If I had planned this, but I would have put some hash browns in there. But that would be good. I usually one point's worth is fantastic. You do usually around 50 grams of potatoes shredded. I always keep a bag of frozen shredded potatoes in my, that is a necessity. I usually have them a lot, um, hash waffles or putting in a scramble like that. It gives a little bit of oomph to your scramble. But let me grab my wrap and let's get a wrap in and a roll in. Let's get to building our burrito. So I do have some of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella. Uh, quarter cup is two points. Um, I'm gonna do half, my, I'm gonna do, I don't count points. So we're gonna have the whole quarter cup because it's only 60 calories. Oh. I have to put it at the bottom because this way my warm egg will melt it. And I probably have too much filling now. But we will eat that on the side. I'm going to go to waste. The peppers, onions, asparagus and eggs. Okay, see I do have some left. I have some fresh tomato because that's what I like in my burrito. I do also have some avocado cup. This is just mashed avocado with two points if you're counting points. And I'm gonna put some, I don't have any yogurt. That's right, I'm out of yogurt. All right, that's a sad state of affairs here, isn't it? So I'm going to open this up. I'm probably going to put it on the top or I'm just going to dip it because I, I want to enjoy most of this. And sometimes I think it might get muddled in here. So I'm going to leave it on the side. And we'll just wrap our burrito. Like so. 
you could air fry it if you wanted. I like it soft. I don't like it crispy. But this, seeing it like this is going to melt that cheese and we're going to eat. So how's that for a breakfast surprise? I'm a bit excited. I'm going to open this up. Like I said, I'm going to like dip and eat. That's how I, that's how I roll anyway. So points wise, I think it's one point for the wrap, two points for the avocado. Game bacon was one. Everything else was zero. So it's two three four points i will get you those calories in a half sack okay it is six weight watcher points i forgot about the cheese <laughs> so it is one for the wrap two for the avocado two for the cheese and one for the Canadian bacon it's 355 calories 22 grams of carbs and 30 grams of protein and 21 grams of fat so like i said you could put this in if you wanted um i would put yogurt if i had it God, I was out of yogurt. I didn't get to the store on Monday. I usually go, and I totally forgot. And I was, yeah, girl needs to go to get herself some yogurt. Another one of the things I don't ever want to be without shredded hash browns and yogurt. I've done a video like that. Were you say, Do you do it? Yeah, I've done a video like that. So I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast, and by the time I'm done, I'm sure Jimmy will be home, and I'll get to cook his. So lucky me. And then we'll get to making strawberries. I'm going to have those drain. And then we will chop, drop, and make some jam. All right, time to make the jam. And this is just a basic how to macerate fruit, add a little sweetener, or, you know, you could add sugar, you could add monk fruit, you could add, I don't know, but maple syrup may change the flavor. Honey will change the flavor. Um, agave, again, you could decide what you want, sweetener you want to use. I'm not here to protrude that. Um, but I'm going to show you how I cut them. And I cut them and put them right in the pot. I cut and drop. You can see these are interesting. They're white, but they're really actually pretty good. I saw my tomato here from, from my thing. And I just go like this. And I just go like that. Nothing perfect. Just, you know, a little quarter. And are yeah, they even? No. Do they have to be even? No, because we're going to macerate. Just basically helping it along by just, you know, making it a little bit smaller. So we're going to do that to all our strawberries. And these go with the trash. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if one Bailey would come over because Bailey loves strawberries. And he's, it's like his, he could smell them from a mile away. I wouldn't be surprised if he snuck up right over there. Half the time, I don't even realize he sneaks up on videos until I'm literally editing i'm like oh my god there's bailey or somebody points it out because half the time i don't even, half the time i probably miss him so i'm gonna do that to our strawberries and then we will get them in the pot and we will come back and i will show you the next step very easy all right there's our strawberries all chopped up i'm going to add a quarter cup of water and a tablespoon of i'm using this i will show you hold on grab it Truvia, honestly sweet. These strawberries are actually pretty sweet, so I don't think it needs a lot. So I think a tablespoon should be plenty. And we'll give it a mix and we'll let them break down. I think you need add, if you think you need more water, if it's dry, then add a little bit at a time. Now I do add vanilla extract, but I do that at the end. So the vanilla extract is still concentrated. Sometimes when it boils, it boils the flavor out. So at the end, I will add the vanilla, that's optional. And I'm still undecided about the chia seeds. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna think I'm not gonna do it in this batch because I think the boys don't care for it. I love it, but they don't. So I think I'm just gonna leave it out. So I'm gonna keep it a stir. I'm gonna be in the kitchen making breakfast for everybody. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it, keep stirring as it simmers. And then again, you get it to the consistency. If you like it lumpy, don't cook it down that much. If you don't, then you cook it down as much as you like. So I will show you the next step. All right, this is how I like it. So I'm gonna let it sit, it will thicken when it cools, but we're gonna throw a splash of vanilla extract in there. Okay, this is totally optional, but I like it. <laughs> so, let this cool completely, and then I will show you how it will thicken right before we put it in the container. All right, don't throw away those strawberry tops. I saw Joan over at the Rise and Shine Homestead make a simple syrup. I ain't got time for that, nor do I want a simple syrup because I got jam, to me that's the same thing. I'm gonna make a vinegar with the tops. I Googled what you do with strawberry tops and um, vinegar came up. So I have about a little more than half a cup to a cup of tops. 
mind you, they're washed and they're cleaned. I'm just gonna top it off with some white vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you want, but. Just so it's over top of the berries, like that. And it says you'd keep it for probably close to a week. I don't know what I did with my lid. I have a lid too. Oh well, I'll find my lid. And I'm gonna keep stirring it and shaking it. And if I, if I wanna add more vinegar, I will. But you can always say, sorry to turn pink. You can make vinaigrettes with this. You could put it inside seltzer. Be like a great kind of good for your gut thing, I was thinking. So thanks Joan for your idea of not wasting anything. Oh my gosh, can I be turning into that? The girl doesn't waste anything. That's, that's a scary thought. But our jam is here cooling. And uh, we'll see what we're going to do now. Oh, do I have an unboxing? I do have a Thrive Market. But there's also something else I want to talk about. I might put, push the Thrive Market. I can't remember what it was I want to talk to you guys about. I'll get back. All right, we're going to get a little lunch together. Sorry I'm not doing a lot of vlogging today. Timmy being home, we're just, you know, doing some stuff around the house. Um, we're going to make a meat and cheese little charcuterie for lunch. He's going out to dinner, so he wants to keep it light. So do I, because I just feel like he'll be light. So we're going to put some hearts of palm, eggs. I got these, and I got, he wants the plain ones. Carrot chips. A radish. Cheeses. Mini bell pepper. And... The piece de la resistance, the leftover Easter ham. So I'm just going to cut some ham. Honestly, ham is really good in calories and points because this is a lean ham. I mean, it's ham. Oh, and cucumber. So I'm just going to make us a little, oh, and some light air popcorn. He doesn't want that. He, he's going to have to dinner with the bishop tonight, so he just wants a little, just to pull them over so he's not there starving. So it's going to make us a little charcuterie. A little meat and cheese. Us Italians love our meat and cheese, don't we? I think I'm out of breath because I just ran from uh, running all over the house. And just so you know, look, it's starting to turn. It is. What you do is when we're done, we're going to strain this in a fine strainer and get all this out. And we will have a little flavored vinegar to put in salad dressings, to put in seltzer. So it's, it's really good. It has to sit for easily maybe a few days. So maybe I will, you know, do a reel or something and just or something here on YouTube just to show you the update because by the time next vlog comes, you'll see it finished, but you know, maybe we'll do something with that. So I'm gonna get this together and I will show you my lunch or our lunch. Lunch today in my cute little Oba home divided dish. This comes in handy for girl lunch. I have 83 grams of cooked ham, a pickled egg, I only have one more left. This is some classic puff corn bell pepper, carrot, cucumber, radish, heart of palm, and a string cheese. This is my lunch today. It comes to 10 points, 339 calories, 12 grams of carbs, 28 grams of protein, and 19 grams of fat. I will be putting mustard on this. I've forgotten some of my ham. So that is my lunch today on my cute little uva divided dish. I have my puff corn in one section, my protein in another, and my veg in the other. Minus that. That should be over here. I have $5 off from Uba Home, as you always know. If you're interested in trying this ceramic cute divided dish it is pre-measured for you so i'm going to go enjoy my lunch having a snack this is healthy eating on the go these are their mini bars they are this is the peanut flavor they are three ww points 100 calories you get eight grams of protein i love these i do i wanted to try the minis because I want to see how, if I'm going to like the minis, I'm going to like the big one, but absolutely. They've also gifted you lovelies with a discount using the code D. Now, they're only available online. Now, I found them through Instagram, and Lynn, she recommended them to me. I love when you guys give me tips, because you know I love a good bar. And this one, it's like having, and you think about it, a tablespoon of peanut butter is three points. So, yeah, I feel like there's a little bit of oats in there. It's a little bit of crunchy. It's delicious. So, highly recommend you can go to their Instagram and check them out. Healthy eating will go. I remember to link them. Well, I'll definitely link them so you can, if you want to use the discount, you can. Again, you know me, you don't want it, then don't get it. But if you're interested in some kind of, I love finding new, good, delicious food finds, and these are absolutely yummy. 
you know me, and there's peanut butter involved, I'm sold. So that is my snack today. 100 calories, 8 grams of protein, and 3 WW points. So, going to get ready to make dinner, and dinner's going to be leftovers. Yeah, nothing much. To, again, another vlog where I don't cook dinner. But that's a good thing some days. We have leftover ham. I'm actually going to make some potatoes. I'm going to roast some potatoes. So we're going to have some potatoes, some ham. And there was chicken that I made last night, just some lightly breaded air fried uh, breasts. You just get a little, um, you know, breadcrumb. I don't even dip the chicken in anything. I just, because it's wet, it crumbs stick to it. And I throw it in my air fryer and it was yummy. So we have that. We have ham. Let me throw some potatoes. Simple, easy dinner. Take the help where you can. So I want to get that started. I will show you my plate when it's time to eat. So I'm going to get those potatoes prepped. I'm just going to use the little mini ones. I'm just going to rinse them off, cube them, and throw them in a little um, toaster oven. Quick, it's just the three of us tonight for dinner. So Timmy's out, Patrick's out, so it's just the three of us. So don't have to make that much. So I'm going to get that done, and I'll see you when my plate's ready. Dinner tonight is leftover chicken, three ounces of potatoes, and some Brussels sprouts. So it comes to four WW points, 200 calories, 18 grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein, and two grams of fat. There may be some ham in this plate later. I'm not sure. This is leftover ham. I'm not sure if I want it, but I definitely have room for it, but I'm undecided whether I really want it. So we're going to stick with this for right now. I'm I am going to add some ketchup on those potatoes, but that will be my dinner tonight. Okay, jam update. I think I put too much water in because I think I was putting the chia seeds. So if you go on dishwithd.com, it'll have the correct water measurements. You can see it's basically right now it's like a compote, which is nothing wrong with it because you see it'd be great on top of like cottage cheese or on top of cake or pudding or something. But it's not, it's a little too thin for a jam, but it's still delicious oh, that's really good. so yes so i think on the website it says three tablespoons and i put a quarter cup which is only one tablespoon shy but yes and we have to drain this i was rereading the thing we have to drain this in a sieve get all the tops out and then you have your strawberry infused vinegar so i'm going to go drain it i'm going to show you what it looks like in half sec all right she's all drained fun is this? You could use it in place of red wine vinegar for salads, for a nice summer salad. It would be really good. Like I said, also, she also, she, it was like a video. She's like, she does things with scrap food. Um, she also said she would put it in like plain seltzer or like sparkling water. Not a lot, of course, but a little squirt. That would be interesting. I think, I mean, again, got to use up something that really was trash. So I think that's a success. So that is it. Like I said, everything will be on dishwithd.com for the written recipe. Um, we didn't get to the Thrive Market box today or the other thing I was going to do. It's got to be that kind of day. So I'll either do something with it or I don't know, or we could vlog another day. Maybe we should do that. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you want another vlog? Possibly I could vlog tomorrow or Friday. Might not be a bad idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this vlog, let me know the big old thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D, where we are a healthy lifestyle channel. We do all sorts of fun things. Um, I just put the reel up for um, Did I show you this this morning? I don't think I did. For a little oat cake that I made with protein powder. It's up on Instagram. It's an oat loaf that it's protein powder, egg, oats, obviously. <laughs> oh, that is oh, so oats. Um, and a little bit of flour, like I think a teaspoon or a tablespoon. But it came out really good. You can change the different, like I use Clean Simple Eats cinnamon roll. And it was chocolate chips. So it came to, I think, I want to say six points, five or six points. Be right for breakfast. 30 grams of protein. But you can't see the whole loaf because I've eaten some. So I did it over the weekend. And so if you want, maybe 
I will um, check on Instagram for my reels and you'll see it there. If not, I will definitely put it in my what I eat in a day next week. I'll throw it the reel in there because sometimes I do that because sometimes I don't have a lot of food to put in there. So we'll throw that in next week's what I eat in a day. You see how quick and easy this came together. And that is on dishwithd.com already. So you can go check that out if you're interested in trying to make it. You Any kind of protein powder you want. Vanilla. Good ifs. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a big old thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D. We'd really love to have you. I am a Weight Watchers person, but right now I'm tracking macros and calories, trying to get that last stubborn 10 pounds off. So I'm using the free Trainist app. If you're interested, I do have a free link. Let me know if you want it. I will gladly share it with you. That is it for me. Everything I mentioned is linked down below in the description box. Anything I said interests you, go check it out. And if not, then that's okay too. So I will dish with you later. Have a great rest of your day.